Well, hello friends, this is Amy Ferlici at the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio. And today I am sharing a sneak peek of some new holiday catalog products. I'm gonna to try to get in as close as possible so you can see all the beautiful detail on this card. Uh, this was actually a swap card that I made recently and I thought, okay, this is gonna be my first video with new holiday catalog product and I wish I could show you the beautiful suite. It's the brightly gleaming suite that I used on this card. I wish I could show you the catalog because I'm looking at it right now over here in the corner of my um, table and it is just a beautiful suite of products. You can see um, coordinating colors, pretty peacock. There's some night of navy, mossy meadow, and copper, that beautiful copper. So I want to start by showing you, let's, I'm going to show you the designer series paper first, and then we'll kind of get started on our project. But this is, and let me make sure I give you the correct name. Yep, it's the Brightly Gleaming Specialty Designer Series Paper. I'm sure it's specialty because of all of that beautiful uh, bronze shimmeriness on these pieces. So these are actually strips of um, designer series paper that we use. That's why I only have like partial pieces um, to show you guys. But isn't that, look at that beautiful detail. And then the fun stripe there too. So some of them have the copper accents. Um, one side does and then the other side does not. And you'll see that when I flip this over. So here's some more with the copper accent. And then I love this beautiful. So Night of Navy and Pretty Peacock. What a beautiful beautiful color combination. Then another really pretty kind of wintry floral uh, imagery there. Okay, so those are three of the sheets of designer series paper. I can't stop moving them around because I love all that shimmeriness. And then here are the other three pieces. So these are full 12 by 12. I haven't even cut into these yet, but you can see the ornaments, stars, and then some more um, mossy meadow and bronze I would say on that side and then here is the back side of these so just kind of a little bit more you know not quite um as vibrant I guess I would say because they don't have that um the copper shimmeriness but still very pretty I can see some great uses even for masculine cards with some of these actually probably all three of these patterns would be great for masculine cards too so some Really good versatility there with that brightly gleaming specialty designer series paper. The other thing, I'm just gonna keep showing you. So this is all part of this suite. This is the Christmas gleaming stamp set and you can see a lot of the imagery with those ornaments. It looks, you know, it coordinates really, really well with the uh, designer series paper. And then we've got some sentiments. And well, let's see, probably you're gonna say Merry Christmas and be jolly this season. Um, and then this other one, deck the halls with the boughs of holly and I actually put that sentiment on the inside of my card. Um, so I actually didn't really do much stamping. I really wanted to highlight the designer series paper on that project, but a beautiful stamp set. And then it's actually bundled with two ornament punches. Isn't that awesome? Gray ornament um, punches right there too um, that we'll cut out. Obviously these two images right here and then that guy right there. And let's see, there is some other fabulous product. I think that's all I really, well, no, that's not true. I actually used the hammered metal embossing folder. Can you see that? Very cool embossing folder. I'll show you that one. And then there are some other, let's see, they've got some star designer elements, brightly gleaming foil elements, and a really pretty, they call it a classic weave ribbon. It's kind of a vanilla ribbon that says Merry Christmas on it in different fonts. It's really, really pretty. So I I didn't use those things on here, but you're just gonna, if you haven't gotten the catalog yet, once you flip, it's on pages 30 and 31 in the holiday catalog, you are gonna basically fall in love with that suite, I think. Plus I think it's fun because it's not the totally traditional red and green colors. I think that's what kind of drew me to it, something a little bit different. I always love the blues when we can use the blues uh, at holiday time too. So, okay, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna show you, so I started with a piece of, this is Pretty Peacock cardstock. So we've got our eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock. I cut it in half to make my tall card um, at four and a quarter inches. Okay. And then along the 11 inch side, I scored it at five and a half inches for our nice crisp fold on our card. All right. So you can see that right there on the inside. I'll show you that piece too. So this is where I did my stamping. We've got the deck, the halls with the boughs of holly. So that is a piece of very vanilla cardstock that measures four inches by five and a quarter inches. 
And then the other pieces that you need dimensions for, I have a piece of Knight of Navy cardstock that measures three and one quarter by four and one quarter so that I could make a bunch of these with a three by four inch piece of designer series paper because I could get 12 pieces. Is that right? Three, six, nine, 12, four times three. Yep, 12. <laughs> Had to do my math there. I could get 12 pieces of this designer series paper out of one big 12 by 12 piece, which is important when you're making swaps and needing to make multiples of cards. You want to do some smart cutting on your designer series paper. And then I basically have other strips of my this is my copper foil some designer series paper and then these are just strips of mossy meadow cardstock okay so let's do our punching first might as well do that so you can see i've already just kind of kept my strip here from previous card making oh my gosh look at that i love it's just so beautiful okay so we're going to punch one of those guys we need another one of these so we'll punch one of these Okay, and then we also need our copper foil here. So we're gonna punch one of those guys and then we're gonna emboss him with that hammered metal embossing folder. While we are punching, we might as well grab, this is my sprig punch. And I will tell you, I will give you all of the item codes, um, everything that you need in case you would like to order any of these products will be in the details to the YouTube video. I believe I punched five of these and we'll see. I might have to rip that off. Um, I probably didn't give myself the right kind of strips, but let's see. Yeah, I think we're gonna be all right. We're gonna do one there and one more and it's okay if a little bit gets cut off on there because they're kind of buried. You can see kind of tucked underneath there a little bit too. Okay. Um, what else? Let's do our stamping and then I think we can do our embossing and put our project together. So I've got Knight of Navy ink right here and I've got my deck the halls with boughs of holly. I'm pretty sure that's what it says, right? Nice easy tap, tap, tap. I'm going to press straight down, lift straight up. Beautiful. I love, can you guys see? Just such a pretty, um, I think it's the little scroll work in there that's so beautiful. And then I love the different fonts with the, you know, black um, along with the cursive writing there too. So very, very pretty. So not much stamping, which is fine because like I said, the designer series paper is definitely the star of this show. Okay, so before we can put things together, we are going to emboss this little guy right here. Let me make sure these are out of the way enough, right? So I've got my die cutting machine, an embossing machine actually, I should say. So I am going to use, I guess I've showed you that a couple times already, right? This is the hammered metal embossing folder, okay? So it doesn't really matter. You're just going to pop that in wherever you like. We're going to put it down on our regular platform. And then I've got my new blue plate, the 3D, because this is one of our, it's the hammered metal 3D embossing folder. So you need your new 3D embossing folder plate. That's it too. I guess I should back up and tell you guys about that. So I've got my platform, my embossing folder with my cardstock inside, and then just my blue 3D embossing plate on top. And that is it. And I'm gonna go back and forth, make sure that is nicely, ooh -hoo, I can tell it's already really cool. And I will tell you guys, I liked, I'll open it up so you can see. I liked having the impressions kind of, can you see, like pushed down, I think it's almost more debossed. On the other side, you can see that kind of looks like a dinosaur or something. So when you need a dinosaur, I would put your paper in with, if you want gold or gold, whatever, foil, put it this way so that those pop up toward you. Um, because when you put it in like this with the Stampin' Up! label, does that make sense? The so Stampin' Up! label toward the top they're going to press down into your paper. So you wanna flip it over if you want them raised up because you can see that that's what happened, right? So hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> I think it should, right? Or just try it on a little scrap piece of paper until you get those bumps going the way that you want them to go. That would be another way to do that too. Okay, so I think we can go ahead and start putting things together. Let's see, what do we wanna do first? 
Got all my pieces. Why don't we go ahead and put some adhesive. Ooh, love that. Isn't that beautiful, those pretty stars? Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to play with this product some more. So we're gonna put our adhesive on our little stripey piece right there. And I will tell you guys, if you need a holiday catalog, if you have not gotten one yet, uh, or if you do not have a demonstrator, I would love to be your demonstrator. So just let me know if I can get a co holiday catalog sent out to you. Um, yeah, and if you um, need a demonstrator, somebody to ask questions, get ideas from, I would love to do that for you as well. And you know what I realized I forgot? So we're gonna, this is my little trick. Whenever I forget my silicone craft sheet, because I wanna put some adhesive on these little sprigs that I punched, but I don't wanna get adhesive all over my work paper. So I'm gonna use the back of my dimensionals. This surface kind of acts like a silicone craft sheet so that when I run my adhesive, it doesn't stick to that little silicone, well, my fake silicone craft sheet, and it doesn't get all over my work paper either. So I love to kind of do that because I really don't like when, I, when everything sticks to itself on there. So we're just kind of tacking these down. We just want it to kind of look like a little pine bow along the top of our project here. Put one more, maybe right there. Okay, now let's see, we're gonna put, actually now I need my dimensionals. So we're gonna put some dimensionals on the back of these little guys. It's funny, there was a trick I was trying to remember which one I needed, I think that'll be okay. <laughs> I had kind of put one over to the side a little bit. Um, I'll show you what I mean. I almost put the dimension on the wrong side there too. That wouldn't be good. So this one right here, I tried to make sure that the dimensionals were over on this side so it wasn't popped up too much. So it was kind of flush. I don't like when things are kind of off kilter, I guess I'll say. Um, so let's see, we wanna do, I'm gonna put this one down at the bottom kind of right corner. We're gonna do that one first, maybe right about there. And then I'm gonna add my little hammered metal. Oh, I love this embossing folder. So cool, I can see lots of fun uh, fall projects too with this hammered metal embossing folder. Can't you see that also? Okay, one there and then peel these little babies off and we'll do one more. Okay, they're being futzy for me. We're gonna put him, and this is what I'm talking about where that might be over a little bit. So I'm gonna have to kind of layer him about like that, we'll say. Now, I probably should have done this before, but that'll be all right. I want to, this is with my Knight of Navy marker. I just wanna make some little, I thought it looked kind of funny if they weren't like hanging off of something, so. Note to self though, I would probably do these and then add those little pine sprigs afterwards next time. But that's okay, it works. It's just a little bit harder to put those on there with those little bumpies in the way. Okay, next we have, and I thought this was kind of fun. This is from our annual catalog, the Denim 3 8 inch ribbon. I loved, because it's a navy, right? I, I loved kind of adding a non-traditional, something not super glitzy since we already had a lot of really pretty kind of glitziness on our foil paper and our designer series paper. Okay, so we're gonna make our bow. I always have to kind of pull those a bit to make sure I get them how I like, right? We're gonna snip that off, pop this out of the way. I'm just gonna grab a mini glue dot. And the easiest way is to just touch your bow right to the glue dot. I usually kind of use my finger to pull it off a little bit and then pop that right on there. And there we go. So you can see beautiful project, right? Love all of that hammered metal, so cool. And then probably my favorite, I love that kind of brocade detail on that designer series paper too. So I hope you guys enjoyed that project. 
Like I said, if you need a holiday catalog, let me know. I'd be happy to send one out to you. I've got lots of other great ideas on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com, so check that out anytime. And also, I do Facebook Live videos every single Friday. So if you are so inclined, I would love to have you join me at the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio Facebook group. If you're not already a member of our group, hop on over there and ask to join that group. Then the really fun part is every week, I demonstrate two projects on Facebook Live. And if you put an online order in and use the host code from my blog, I send you those free projects, those two cards that I make on Facebook Live every single week. Plus, I do a drawing for another giveaway that your name goes into if you put an online order in and use that host code. So make sure to do that. I would love to uh, help take care of you, send you fun free projects and maybe um, a free uh, giveaway as well. So thanks so much for watching. You guys have a great day and we'll see you soon. Bye, everybody.